Oh, I tell you what, if I sound a bit ticked off in this video, I've just recorded a whole commentary for the video. Well, I didn't. It recorded for 20 seconds, glitched out, and I didn't know. So I've got to do this whole thing again. But welcome, everyone, to my first video in about a year, probably for reasons exactly like that. Um, F122, I thought, new game is out. Let's delve into a race and see how we get on. There's our car looking a bit like a Force India, but with sort of deeper colours. I quite like it. Looks pretty cool to me. And, um, yeah, if the recording looks a bit crap, it's because I'm using an old Elgato Game Capture HD capture card that it was not made for this generation. Um, and the most obvious thing is the 30 FPS, which just looks so janky to my eyes now. I'm so used to 60 FPS that this just looks weird. But uh, anyway, we come across the line to do a 147.0, which would have been good enough for pole by a good four tenths of a second, as you're about to see, if I hadn't been disqualified. So, hasn't gone particularly well, that has it. So, we are actually going to be lining up for this race in P14 instead. But hopefully that means... We can get through the chaos of turn one and avoid most of it because we're at the back instead of at the front where we'd get shunted in the diffuser. Um, so let's uh, wait for this race to begin. We are on the grid. We are we are 10 seconds away. And I tell you what, the tension is building. One of my first races on F122. This was recorded like a week ago probably at this point as well. So everyone was very, very new to the game, myself included. So who knows how good everyone is. We've got four lights. We've got five lights. And we are away off the line. And I can't even get my words out. Someone has crashed. Some people just haven't moved. We are already up. There's a Cadbury car going up my inside there. We have been shunted in the diffuser. We've lost a bit of front wing. We've lost a bit more front wing. And we are round. Oh, God damn it. Big boy Jim out of the session there. He started right in front of us, so he hasn't lasted very long. There's someone having some issues down here. There's more people having issues down there, including the Cadbury car, who I think is out of the race. Meanwhile, we have we have a damaged front wing, but we are still in the race, and we are currently cruising in P14. We are miles away from everyone, but there is plenty of this race left to go yet to see if we can catch up. Someone else not having a great time. Out on the right there and a two second penalty. And it doesn't even matter because he's out of the race now anyway. So it, speaking of um, two second penalties, the man in front has just acquired one, Stokey Scotty. Now we are currently within two seconds of him. So it doesn't matter if we overtake him or not. But I'd quite like to because uh, it's always good to get the move done on track instead of relying on penalties to give you positions. Um, so yeah, this first lap now is all about trying to stay out of any more trouble, catch up. Devon Lloyd is out. In fact, that's Devon Lloyd you saw on the left there. He is out of the race as well. So well, we're not relying on penalties. We're just relying on DNFs to gain positions right now. That has put us in 12th place. And, um, well, the guy in 10th is only, what, 2.3 seconds ahead of us? Well within striking distance for the rest of this race. So points are on the table here. Points are on the table. Like, 20 people started this race. We had almost a full lobby. And uh, there's only 13 people remaining. So that has been a very chaotic first lap. Um, and we are gaining here on Stokey Scotty in the in the sort of car ahead. And we are also gaming on Simon uh, ahead of him. So it's looking pretty rosy right now for a points finish. If we can just keep it consistent. Keep going in a normal manner and keep catching No, But Simon's lost it. And more importantly, we've lost the back end as well. So all the good work we did on lap one, trying to catch back up to these two, has been undone with a, with a moment of instability, of rear end action. And now we're going to have to do all that catching up again. But Simon and Stokey Scotty are neck and neck here. So there is a possibility for an incident between the two. We can't quite hit 200 miles an hour on that straight there but uh, already in just these next couple of corners look at where we are already we are exceeding track limits all over the show but we are within a second of stokey scotty so we are right back in the hunt here but someone else has had an instant it's ollie king he just about ghosts in time as we're about to plow into the back of his gearbox but uh instead we 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 don't do that so that's that's ideal but now 
this becomes a battle for ninth position as the lack of a, of a, of a working front wing makes me go wide yet again. So I've got to get on top of that before I get a penalty for for creating my own circuit. Stokey Scotty is also creating his own circuit, which is probably why he has penalties. He's completely cut that corner as well, which is going to hamper his exit. And Ollie King is putting him under pressure while Simon up ahead is getting away. So this is, this is heating up now for these sort of lower points paying positions. Stokey Scotty has decided that the tarmac just isn't for him anymore. Wants to go rallying. Ollie King also goes wide. I follow him a little bit wide. Have I got to move into this corner? No, I'm going to hold it behind him for now and just uh, play it safe. But Stokey Scotty there just decided that um, he didn't want to go over the tarmac anymore. The track wasn't for him. He wanted to go rallying, wanted to go off-road and, you know, fair play to him, but it has cost him two positions maybe three if you're also going to include simon in the equation so he's down in 11th place and he has a two second penalty so i think really we can discard him from this fight i'm in the points 10th position but eighth has to be the target now as ollie king he looks to have a bit of pace about him and he's going to go up the inside of simon in behind uh well i'm behind in behind the two of them so ollie king goes up the inside can he hold it my camera glitches and I come out the other side of the recording glitch with no front wing. Isn't that excellent? Someone else is out on the right there. That's Zach Mason. He is out of the race. So now this fight is for seventh, let alone eighth. These two are still battling it out. Simon's managed to get himself back ahead of Ollie King. I've got zero front wing left on my car. But to be fair, it doesn't seem to be affecting me all that much. Look at this. I'm going a little bit wide. But I'm still able to take the corners. I'm not sure coming into the pits is worth it. I'm not sure it's worth sort of the 20 seconds or so I'd lose in the pit. So I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay out, stay in the fight with Simon and Ollie and Stokey Scotty, I guess. But as I say, I don't think he's really in the fight given his penalty. Um, but uh, yeah, we are just over halfway through this race, and it is it is heating up here in the fight for seventh. As uh, Simon looks to defend from Ollie. Ollie now goes off circuit. Very, very wide from Ollie. Much like Simon did. Not Simon, sorry. Stokey Scotty did on the last lap. And Ollie goes for a dive around the outside. I'm going to go for the cut back. But I'm not going to quite get that done there. But he's saving battery. I'm going to use my battery and my DRS. I've got to run up into the hairpin here. Am I going to make it stick this time? Don't lose the back end. I haven't lost the back end, but Ollie King's held it round the outside. I'm going to use my battery because I do not want to go into Eau Rouge side by side. Thankfully, I've got it ahead of him, so Eau Rouge rally on will be done on my own. And I'll tell you what, if I play my cards right, I've also got to run on Simon, but Ollie King's got to run on me. This is an absolutely intense battle now for seventh place. I've got DRS and overtake. I'm going to use that to maybe go up the inside of Simon. Have I got the overspeed? I'm going to go for it. Yes, I've dive bombed him, but it's a fair dive bomb. I've kept it on the circuit. I've kept it clean. I've been hit in the back by Simon there a little bit. So maybe I took those corners a little bit slower than he would have liked. But frankly, he wasn't able to hold it. So I go around this corner that's at a snail's pace. Ollie King looks to go up my inside. I leave him the space. He doesn't take it. And I remain at the head of this little train. This is the first time I've been in the lead of our little, of our little battle for, 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 for seventh place. I mean... Sixth place is seven and a half seconds up the road, so we can comfortably forget about any sort of chances for top six. It's all about being the best of the rest here in seventh place, much like McLaren do every single week. Ollie goes for a tenacious move up the inside there, and he makes it stick, but once again, he decides now on a straight is the time to build battery, which makes no sense at all, so I'm going to use a little bit of mine. He's weaving all over the show. I can't really get him. On here, now it's my turn to take a bit of an excursion onto the grass, but not as bad as the others have done in the past. Have I got to run around the outside? Ollie King goes to... I call him Ollie. I don't know why I called him Ollie. It's just O. His name could be Oliver, could be Ollie, could be anything. He's O King, but he's held it. Now, actually, I've lost a lot of time to him in the last sort of bus stop chicane there. And uh, Stokey Scotty has got to run on me here. But again, still not worried about him giving his two-second penalty. And as long as he doesn't interrupt my fight with O-King25, then um, we'll be all right. And I've got a good run here through O-Rouge and Radion. I'm going to have Overtake. He's still battery saving for some reason. I've got Overtake and I've got DRS. Look at the overspeed. I've got on him here. He's got no answer to that. 
and I am comfortably ahead of him. The arrow's not even red anymore. It's my recording glitches again. It's that corner. My my recording really seems to hate that. Uh, my yeah, my, my camera seems to hate that. Uh, I call it a camera. It's 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 a, it's a capture card, not a camera. It doesn't seem to like that corner, but that's probably because it's outdated tech, not really suited for the Xbox Series X. But as I say, I've got a new capture card coming in the post. So any future recordings I may do should be of much higher quality and in 60 FPS, thankfully, rather than this 1080p 30 we've got going on here. I could also record 4K, but that would have to be 30, and I'd, I'd, I'd rather have frames per second than that, to be fair. Anyway, we are up into... We are up in, no, we are in seventh, but look at this! Sixth place is, in fact, on the cards because there's been an incident up the road. Ollie King is still... I call him Ollie, he's oaking on my head is disintegrating. Someone is out on the right there, so we're up into sixth. And now I've got to run on Master Luke 25. No, he's Master Luke 46. Oh, King has 25. My record, my commentary is all over the place at this point. I'm going up the inside of Master Luke. My capture card glitches again. Am I going to hold it into the bus stop? I've held it into the bus stop. I've still held it. Am I going to hold it up to the line? P5. Oh, King and Master Luke have crashed on the final straight. Oh my god. We were eight seconds behind them at one point. That's a terrifying image, by the way. Where is the rest of his helmet? I don't know. I'll tell you what, I've had to record the commentary for this race twice. I've had to get that excited twice. I was calling people wrong names. I was giving game attacks wrong numbers. This was all over the place. But we have made it to the end, and somehow, from what looked to be at best P7, we have blagged to P5, thanks to more final lap incidents up the road. And I'm going to leave it there, because I'm, I'm, I need to lie down. I need a nap after recording this race twice. That was chaotic, but we have come out with a P5 miraculously from that race. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe even though my next upload knowing me probably won't be for like a year i might start doing some twitch streaming i've got a new gaming pc which is well suited for it um and can also emulate ps3 and i'm looking to play through the original demon souls and i might stream my progress on that on twitch so that's twitch uh, tv slash the hobbitron so that's easy enough to find thank you for watching this video stick around for any more i might do in the coming months maybe thank you for watching and whew, Goodbye. And the commentary has recorded this time. Thank God.